Breaking news, Nigerians. Inter-society acts anti-corruption agencies to place 20 Nigerian governors on watch list for allegedly planning to spend billions of Naira on votes buying. My wonderful people, this Wahala no the finish show. Now the inter-society don't counter the anti-corruption agencies. Say, come on, make una come put eye for these 20 Nigerian governors. And they don't reveal the, the names of these governors so, and their states. Say, see, oh, see what they, they plan to do. They want to spend billions of Naira, take by votes for these elections. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. A human rights organization, the International Society for Civil Liberties and Rule of Law, InterSociety, has called on the Economic and the Financial Crimes Commission, the Independent Corrupt Practice and Order Related Offenses Commission, and other anti anti draft agencies to blame their such light on governors who have gone into lavish squandering of state resources to ensure their preferred candidates win by hook or by crook. The Inter-Society made this call in a special report released on Thursday, which was signed by its principal officers, Emeka Chidima Ude Bami. According to the report, along, following the way the Labour Party won in some areas, about 20 state governors have been forced into squandering over 50 billion in public funds on vote buying to ensure that they install their puppets as the next governor and the state lawmakers. The Inter-Society, which is based in Anambra State, alleged the projected government spending of 2.5 billion to lobby and buy votes to ensure that the candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance for the State House of Assembly were elected in the Saturday's election. It alleged that the governors of some other states have spent public funds lavishly to coerce people to vote or to rig their candidates into offices. According to the Inter-Society, they are the governors of Lagos, Rivers, Delta, Abia, Imo, Eboin, Enugu, Cross River, Bayasa, Edo, Akwaibom, Nasawara, Plateau, Taraba, Kaduna, Ogun, Ekiti, Oyo, and Kogi State. My country people, when they hear this one so, they don't talk, say, make una con see you, make una con see waiting all these governors they won't do. They call the governor of Lagos State. They call the governor of River, call the governor of Delta, Abia, Imo. Say, make una con see you, all these governors, they won't use big money, take by votes for these coming elections. It was also note, uh, noted that its investigation showed that no remorseful lessons from the February 25th polls had been learned by the, Nigerians, by the Nigerian political actors, particularly the chairman of the Nigerian Independent National Electoral Commission and all the commissions serving the, the national commissioners, the resident electoral commissioners, and most of the 37 ad hoc state coalition officers, many, if not most of above named, the elective and appointive public office, office holders have been identified to have played different roles in rigging of the February 25th presidential and the National Assembly's election. They also squandered billions of Naira belonging to their state for the purpose of coordinating voter suppression and also result fixing, all in their desperate effort to suppress the obedient ballot revolution in their state and beyond, it said. The group noted that its findings revealed that the governors have been gripped with panic, fear, and desperation as the possibility of them losing governorship and the majority in the state assemblies with imaginary impeachment threats stares them in the face. It continued. So the inter-society has therefore investigated and found out that there is likelihood of 50 billion state funds to be wastefully spent by 20 governors for the purpose of cash or material vote buying 
voter suppression and coercive and intimidating measures in this Saturday's March 18th governorship and the state assembly's polls. The polls has, has also been projected to be violent, threatening with high possibility of vote of the electorate, not going out as in not going to be count. Guys, this is serious. So now they don't talk, say, make Nigerians, they are well. All these 20 states where they don't call and their governors, say, may they put torch lights for them. They should inspect them closely. They call the governor of Rivers, the governor of Delta Ebo in Abia, Benwell, Lagos states, Kaduna, and other states. Say, may they put IO because these state governors have sponsored political toggery, violence, vote buying, and other you know, vices in these coming elections. So Nigerians should be aware. The, these agencies should put their eyes ground on, on ground. The EFCC should put on their torchlight and watch closely these governors because they are about to spend billions of naira to make sure that their successors win this election. They don't all say the, the fear of the obedience movement is the beginning of all wisdom. Now, now, all the whole state governors, they don't they buckle up because they don't say the Labour Party candidates, they are not smiling. This time around, people are coming out to vote for the Labour Party as a result of uh, P2B. So P2B have seems to influence other, you know, Labour Party candidates. Now, we are approaching the March 18th gubernatorial elections. These governors are scared that they are going to lose their position. They are going to lose their grip on the state resources. So they are trying as much as possible to lavishly spend billions of funds to make sure that their candidates emerge as the winner to the extent they have started, you know, uh, gathering money for for cash vote buying and also procurement of uh, food items, you know, all those personal items like a uh, carton of Indomies, wrapper, small bag of rice, tin tomatoes, granite oil, and other small, small materials for vote buying. That is the plan they have set aside. Now they have reported this, and Nigerians should be well aware that this is what they are trying to do. Therefore, the inter society have called on the EFCC, the ICPC, and other anti-corruption agencies to blame their such light on these states. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this issue? Because it seems that these governors have already set down their motion and they are ready to take action as we approach the March 18th governorship elections. Guys, kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section down below. Thank you. Bye.